recording from now. But to, in today's class, I, I tried to finish within <laughs> six or six, five, okay, five minutes maybe. Within six or six, five, okay, so just uh, 20 minutes. Uh, within that, I'll try to finish. So just uh, not that much uh, long class. But really, really, I am feeling really uh, bad for uh, all of you. Please, please, please uh, take care of yourself and there is you know that vaccine is going on please take uh, the necessary step for your parents at least to take the vaccine it's not that the vaccine can stop uh, a corona rather than it will uh, gives you a little bit mental satisfaction and also something like that uh, it it uh, the research said that maybe though uh, research was done uh, with a very small amount of uh, patients but it says that uh, the death threat is, uh, can be reduced with uh, those who have the vaccination. So please, please, please. Uh, no, no, uh, uh, okay. Uh, sir, today, morning, sir, uh, uh, sorry, yeah, Inan. Uh, sir, uh, sir, I have a question. Sir, uh, is there any possibility of getting a temporary break from the next week? Temporary break from the next week? Still, I, because... Uh, uh, I have heard some uh, from some of your friend regarding these kind of things, but still I, I, I have not uh, heard anything uh, from the department or from the authority. And you know that um, these kind of things uh, should be uh, centralized. So uh, it's not like that only the third year electrical can do something. Uh, it's not happened something like that because you know that uh, the uh, of what the calendar they call it calendar academic calendar and other things are uh, should be passed through a uh, academic council and academic council is a committee uh, consists of <laughs> maybe uh, 30 professor then uh, external member two uh, two or three vice chancellor from other external uh, university other other university of bangladesh uh, two of uh, two uh, member from industry like uh, maybe the secretary from education and board and five i believe the five or four uh, ambassador so it's a very big <laughs> academic council things and from there actually the academic calendar and other things are happening so um, maybe if you want this kind of things uh, you have to go a little bit collectively uh, talk to all the seers from all the years uh, from all the department then it will it will it should work because if the survey is like that that in one class within 52 students who are affected by covid and their family member uh, five of their family members are affected by covid and i got that um, uh, around 25 this is like four percent ten percent family members are affected then um around 13 percent are not mentally okay 25 percent fine but not mentally feeling okay at, at as because their friends and others are okay so these are not a uh, good uh, uh, survey that i'm taking it from one class so i believe that uh, you can proceed to right authority with some polite uh, ness and other things maybe uh, it should work because uh, you know that uh, for me, I feel that it, I don't want to record this one, okay? So I just think because uh, sometimes I believe that whenever I see this thing, then I, I feel that how I will take the quizzes and other things because it's not that much good that if somebody's um, parents are affected, then how they can think because I, 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 I passed the same thing uh, last month, okay? And for me, I told right, you that. Sir. Yeah, so uh, I have the empathy, but also I have to take care the rules and regulation of the uh, authority as well. So uh, please, uh, whatever the situation is, please accept, okay? Uh, even the all the teachers, they are feeling, hopefully, the, uh, whatever the way I am feeling, uh, they are also feeling the way uh, in the same way, but uh, to take the decision in a concrete way, thinking about all, Maybe it is a little bit tough for the leaders. So whatever the situation will be, please, please, please accept those. Okay, don't make any kind of chaos and other things. Okay, so I believe that uh, Allah will give uh, the baraka within our uh, decision making, and it will be uh, like you are. We will considering all the things. Okay, so let's see 
how the committee and other things uh, they are thinking okay so this is from my part okay but in between whatever the situations are what you need to do you have to take care of uh, of your parents your yourself whenever the exam will be there just be, uh, be prepared and for those who are affected by covid definitely we have some rules for the sick people okay medical emergencies and other things so it will not be because you know that we are we are also human being and we believe on allah so definitely all of the teacher will support you and definitely and for any cases any support uh please 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 uh communicate with me for for my subject and within my limitation whatever i can do i'll uh, spread my hands to you okay really i i am checking the uh, survey because uh, this survey is really not good okay 10 percent of the family members are affected from 63 students so this is not good okay um i am feeling that my family members are affected okay so it's like that so please take care of my uh, student from thesis group he is affected by covid and uh, this is like that my <laughs> my buddy because i i used to talk to him each and every week in my research class and then now i found that he's affected by covid and said that okay sir please take uh, like talk but uh, i can talk i can do the work but i feel that no it's it's not that much good but please 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 take care okay is it clear uh, in our, I, I feel that it will it will go uh smoothly with you uh 343 you, you want to say something otherwise i want to finish finish within 10 minutes okay so no, no 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 it's okay sir okay finish okay so thank you very much today i there is no uh feedback quiz uh uh because uh, i asked you for the homework and other things so uh whatever i i have done i have given the homework to you i believe that you can see okay so i want to <coughs> share some screen I have to share the screen and I want to share the second camera. So I believe that you can see me in the with the okay. So with this, okay. So uh first of all. I want to show you the this one. Okay. I, I'll show the video as well, but I want to show you the homework. Okay. So the homeworks are there. I oh no, why it's too long. Okay. The instructions, <coughs> the instructions are there. And then I I I given two books, okay and uh, i mark the some of the questions and the problems okay and the assignment is up to next wednesday so next thursday actually uh, i want to discuss the solution as well okay so next thursday uh, and next wednesday till next wednesday uh, to, uh 12 uh, is the deadline and there will be no su uh, late submission okay so please do if you can do if you cannot do please write down those things okay so i believe that in your side yeah these things going on so make it turn in exactly the way that it should be turned in and um upload your solution okay so your solution in pdf so this is the case i want to see and on th thursday i want to discuss about the solutions okay so no worry that if you cannot do then what will happen so this is the assignment and i believe that in inside the assignment what is the pdf inside the assignment i did these things okay um this is actually the pdf sir. oh yeah say the assignment will be her writing sorry the assignment will be her writing also oh, so writing or typewriting no no matter okay so it, it should be pdf so if you can write take the picture and make the pdf okay Oh no, affected. Raya is affected. So okay, so uh in the in the book, I have given two books. Okay, one is computer, something. So in the book, uh whole books are there. So from there, just maybe it should look like this. 
uh, press this one and go to page number 68. So from the 68, uh, it should be there are there are many okay uh, like the uh, tick mark things and the questions are like questions are big, but answer are, are one line answer okay so. Um, um, so just try to read once and I believe that you can do it and in the same manner, the second books, please uh, go to page number like book page number okay don't go here because it's 66. But book page number 27, and you can find that maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, six question from chapter one, because these are the very easy. And I, I give, I answer the same thing from there. And page number 47, 47, maybe 47, from there, one, two, three, and problem one, two, three, six, six problem from this book, and maybe. And because these are the very simple things, what to do, what to do things. So just read. And I, uh, if you need anything, please move to the inside the books because these kind of things already we have uh, studied. So any question regarding these things, okay? So I have written this uh, page number sixty-eight, all the question, and page number twenty-seven, page number forty-seven. Uh, this should be up to uh, eleven zero eight. So this is the case. A anything? To say do you have any question no if not then i'll i'll go a little faster and show i'll show two video and then finish okay because i want to finish very quickly so if there is no question then um as i told you that in our last class i have uh, sir. yes 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 uh, sorry for interruption sir uh is there any way to like uh will you let us know about our previous marks yeah, yes, 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 there is there no way like this. I, I, I should I should tell you. Okay, so um you know that there are hundred and we will mentally prepare ourselves like after checking our grades. Okay, okay. So I should give it to you because it's now around 143. Because this is an electric class, I believe that there should be only 50 students, but it's 143. And there were during the physical class, there were uh, some TA, but for me. Uh, no, so um, I need a little bit time for that and no worry because I, I feel that I, I can give it to you. But no worry uh, because uh, as I told you that the whatever I check with, with a quick vision, Alhamdulillah, it was very good. <laughs> okay, good means there is um, somebody thinking that there is fail or not or something. I believe that uh, the mark should start from B plus till of okay something like that because whatever i believe but i'll give all the uh, things okay you are asking for the uh, assignment and the mid skip sir mid skip okay so i'll discuss yes, this sir. thing at the last okay because let uh, me yes, sir. Sure, sure. Yes, sir. Okay. so um at the uh, last class i'd ask you to read some of the because this kind of slides i'll upload okay recently okay so uh what is firewall firewall you know in our computer we have the firewall one wall will be should be there so anything from the outside should be fired okay and uh, not there so yeah, we talk about the firewall whenever i show you one video regarding uh, the packet and there is uh they said that two ports are there port 80 and port 25 except other things everything's are block 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 something like that okay so in iot also we have a firewall means whenever uh, whoever enter with the gate with the number uh, like a uh, sign they can enter okay so this is like a firewall then how http works http works uh, email works i ask you to read these things parity code we know these things okay so last parity code and the error detection how they work okay so this is one case and this uh, d dash <laughs> d and d dash and they check that whether the d and d dash are perfectly okay or not okay if there is if d and d dash is equal then we'll say that yes the, the results are okay so something like that so today we'll discuss about the multiple access so we should have one link okay and from the one link everybody should share the link okay so this is actually called multiple access and we know to do the multiple access what i mean that single shared broadcasters channel is six eight okay i should finish within uh five minutes okay so uh two or more simultaneous transmission by nodes so there must be interference and if there is any collision okay receive two or more signal at the same time that means if simultaneous things are going on so if two or more signals collide okay because collide means 
something like that the from this side and that side and because of that most of the cases you know that for upload and for download we have different path okay upload and uh, different path means within the cable we have uh multiplexing and fda uh, like fdma okay frequency diffusion multiple access something like that okay so for upload for download we have um, separate the path otherwise upload download two electrons will collide each other okay so this is and these things can happen even within the cable so to avoid those things there are something okay the distributed algorithm algorithm is happening there i i have started the class at the very beginning i told you that we will train the electron okay it's like that we are the magician we will train the electron how to train the electron by this kind of algorithms okay we'll train the electron you say that no go they are not like move there like we'll train the lions okay something like that okay so distributed algorithm that determines how not share the channel how not pass the electron and determine when node can transmit it's not like that um as as i told you that uh will you want to talk I uh, you said the no sir I want to hear something like that because I I see I saw your mic was on so my brain algorithm determined that mic on means somebody wants to talk so if you talk if I talk that time our <laughs> uh, frequency is within four to four kilohertz four to four kilohertz so it will be like a noise but if I talk you stop then it, if you hear it will be perfectly information if i stop and if you talk it will be perfect information okay this thing should be done um in the in the channel as well so otherwise it will be collide it will be that nobody can like if i allow all of you 150 students all of you to talk together it will be like a noise but everybody voice is important everybody voice is perfect but it, it will be like a noise okay so uh these things we need the mul multiple access protocol we need so if you want to i at the very beginning i mute you all if you want to talk raise your hand if you uh, want to talk you have to unmute yourself if there are more people then you have to wait and wait otherwise without this protocol it, there should be some collision so this is the first thing then uh next one is that Broadcast means in ideal case, just try to read that. If you have a uh, node when it's uh, transmitted, it can uh, send uh, data like R, okay? When M nodes are there, M nodes, it's not like that L, okay? Previously we said that L, that within the link, the bandwidth, but now R uh, like red, uh, M number of students are there so how many how many times you will get the on average uh, the people can get the average time on ideal case like uh, in a uh distributed manner okay ideal distributed manner means r over m fantastic okay so this is very simple but in the case it's not simple in the case of internet because the um information is coming randomly because today uh, before starting the class i feel that i will finish the class within 25 minutes but you discuss around 20 or 25 minutes regarding those things that that things i was not aware before so it was random so i have to give priority to your call on other things okay so giving the priority of the information is uh, another things uh, depending on the de demand okay so one thing is channel partitioning we know these things time slot frequency slot another thing is random access we'll check and send the data by random okay so today i'll discuss about this random things i'll show you two videos and talk about this random things okay so panel partitioning you know so tdma time division multiple access we know these things this this is slot and other things i'll give you this this uh, uh like slide and you can read and you know because we, we know about the tdm now we we use another a that means time division multiple access okay time division previously it was time division multiplexing so after multiplexing we can use the algorithm to give the multiple access so here the algorithm is very straightforward one dash three dash four dash dash then one dash three dash uh, uh, four dash dash this this way the algorithm is going on but if the one is video 
that time you can say that one one three four one 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 three four one one we can do that things as well okay depending upon your <laughs> demand we can do this kind of things and it's happening please believe me this is happening and this slot the sixth slot is known as window this is actually called windowing okay windowing within the messes the window uh windows computer the window actually sometime came from this window as well okay so when i whenever we get the data because in in our computer we can get uh 124 bit means 124 bit we can get but it will check like a slotting <laughs> so some some windows are there some windows are there so whenever within the window the data is moving like that way okay so oh, sorry sorry, sorry. The, the within the window the data is moving like that way so within that window uh, the computer will read the data something like that okay so i believe that this is tdma this is fdma we know these things okay so within one cable will divide upload download something or this is for video this is for audio something like that okay upload download should be separate because the people are feeling very good when for the download because this is the customer satisfaction yes the downloading is very fast they don't care about the upload because upload is doing everything in the background so most of the cases download is, is speed is uh, more than upload is speed. please check this one from the gramin phone or Roby. they said that okla speed very fast those they are thinking about the download speed okay so this is fdma and other things and this is the last two slide okay just go with me okay so there are something that in the random access so transmit a full channel data rate okay full channel our channel data rate for one person will not divide a, anything so full channel data rate but no uh, like but they will think that is there is another person or not if there is another person they will not send the data they'll wait and send the data again okay so randomly check the path is okay send the data okay because most of the cases the most of the paths are free okay so how to detect the collision and how to recover from if there is any collision okay there are some example of the protocols one is called slotted aloha another is aloha and csma csma cd and csma okay i'll talk about csma csma cd and csma today allows uh, and slot level was very old technology but th those are very straightforward so i give some <laughs> example of uh, allo uh slotted aloha and aloha because it's uh, like a window things and within the window um, they allow the uh, things to go and the uh, people should uh, get the window beforehand but the collision detection is something very good that it's exactly like the human analogy okay so don't interrupt others so if anyone send the data if anyone talk i will stop something like that so in the cable in the cable does not have any uh, brain rather than two router have the brain okay so router will sense the cables are free or not okay something like that the cables are free or not the pipes are free or not then i'll send if the pipes send the water from that side i'll not send i'll receive if the pipe is clear then i'll send my data otherwise the two water will be uh mixed juice okay so if the channel sends idle transmit the data if the channel sends busy return uh, deferred transmission that's all exactly like the human analogy okay so collision uh, what is the benefit and other things are there and there are two things one is called carrier sense multiple access i'll show the video then it will be very clear to you then collision detection one is called collision detection another is called uh, carrier sense multiple access collision collision avoidance why these two things because uh yeah i should write so uh, because this collision detection is very easy within the pipe if you have pipe then the pipe is connected to the server pipe is connected to the router directly so if the router send the data you know that router is sending i will not send so collision detection technology is very good for wet connection but it will not be very good for wireless connection so from my router if the data is coming and router is send, uh, sending the data and i want to send the data to the router that time actually collision detection will be a little bit tough 
that detect the collision because the there is no pipe in the wireless okay we'll discuss the wireless things next semester but that time we'll use collision avoidance okay so whenever there is collision i'll avoid rather than uh, detect okay if there is any collision i'll i'll not send the next data something like that okay i'll stop myself so it's like that the polite conversation if there is any is easy for wet connection measure the signal strength compare the transmission receive the data and difficult in wireless receive the signal strength um, by local transmission so if the signal is very low i'll avoid okay uh, avoid to send so this this is the two kind of things this is up to today's class and i will show you two video okay so please be with me i'll show you two video and it will be very easier for you um easier for you to understand okay the scene scenario and scene so i believe that you can if we can send data on the network without interfering with the data from other computers especially if the network has a lot of computers that are sending and receiving data at the same time i mean you would think that there would be a lot of collisions happening I mean, there should be data packets that are constantly smacking into each other in all that network traffic. But even though collisions do happen from time to time, especially on older networks, a technology was developed to not only help avoid collisions, but also to respond correctly if a collision does happen. And this technology is called CSMA-CD, which stands for Carrier Sense Multiple Access Collision Detection. And this is the access method used on early Ethernet networks. And when I mean early, I'm referring to half duplex networks that utilize coaxial cable and earlier versions of twisted pair cable. Now, CSMA CD basically works by each computer first sensing if the wire is idle. And if it is, it sends its data, therefore avoiding any collisions. But if you have two computers trying to send data at the same time, a collision will happen. And if a collision happens, the computers will wait a random amount of time and retries to send their data. So as an example, here we have a network with four computers, and these computers are all sharing a common transmission medium, which is a cable. And this cable must be regulated so that no computers send data at the same time, which would result in a collision. And when a collision happens, it causes data loss or data corruption. So let's say that this computer here wants to send data. So first it will sense or listen if there is any traffic on the cable. And if it senses traffic, the computer will wait until the cable is idle to send its data. But once it senses that there is no traffic, it'll go ahead and send its data. And as it's sending its data, it will listen for a collision. And if it doesn't sense a collision, it knows that the data was successfully sent. Now, in another scenario, if two computers are ready to send their data and they both notice that the cable is idle, then both computers will go ahead and transmit their data at the same time. But when this happens, a collision occurs. And when the computers that are sending the data detect a collision, they immediately stop sending the data and instead will transmit a jamming signal out on the network. And this jamming signal is what notifies all the other computers on the network that a collision has happened. And after the computers receive this jamming signal, the two computers that cause the collision will wait a random amount of time before they send their data again. And the wait time must be random to each computer so that the collision doesn't happen again. So as I stated before, CSMA CD was used on early Ethernet networks, and it isn't as relevant today due to the advancement in network technology. It was only relevant in the older half duplex networks where data communicates in both directions, but not at the same time. Today, we use full duplex networks where data can communicate in both directions at the same time. And there was also CSMACA, which stands for Carrier Sense Multiple Access with Collision Avoidance. Now, this is the access method that's used for carrier transmission in wireless networks. Because just like wired networks, wireless networks need to avoid collisions as well. So this is how it works. So when a computer wants to send data on a wireless network, it really can't sense or hear if there are any collisions on the network because there's no cable involved. So instead, it does its best to avoid collisions altogether. So in this method, when a computer wants to send data, it'll first sense if there are any other transmissions happening. And if it detects any other transmissions, it'll wait a short amount of time before checking the channel again. And when it checks the channel again, and if it doesn't sense any transmission, it'll wait a short random amount of time, and then it'll go ahead and send its data. Then once the destination device receives the data, it will respond to the sending computer with an acknowledgement, informing the sender that it has received the data. But if the sending computer does not receive an acknowledgement from the destination, it will assume that it did not get the data and it will start the process all over again.
Now, another method that CSMA-CA uses to avoid collisions is the optional RTS-CTS protocol, which stands for Ready to Send, Clear to Send. Now, this is an optional protocol that's used with CSMA-CA on wireless networks. This protocol enables a computer to send out an RTS or Ready to Send signal to the wireless access point requesting for an opportunity to send out its data. And if the wireless access point grants this request, the access point will temporarily stop all other communication on the network and then it'll respond back to the computer with a CTS or clear to send signal, which tells the computer to go ahead and send its data. So in this protocol, the wireless access point is basically the traffic controller on the wireless network. Today my topic is CSMACD. The acronym CSMACD stands for Carrier Sense Multiple Access with a Collision Detection. It is a media access control method used in early Ethernet technology. The term may seem intimidating, but if we break it apart and then demonstrate how it works, by the end of the video, I believe you will have a pretty clear idea. CSMA first. Carrier refers to transmission media, such as an electronic bus in Ethernet network or band of electromagnetic spectrum or channel in Wi-Fi network. The media carries data, that's why we call it carrier. Carrier sense. Just as human beings have five senses, such as sight, sound, smell, taste, and touch, a node on a network also has, has a sense. It can listen, can hear, it can detect what's going on over the transmission media. Keep in mind, when we say a node has a sense, we really means a network interface card or NIC has a sense. Multiple access. It means every node in the network has equal right to access to and use the shared media, but they must take turns. When we put these four words together, carrier sense multiple access means before a node transmits a data, it checks or listens to the media. When the media is not busy, the node sends its data. If it detects the media is used by the other nodes, it will back off and wait for a random amount of time and try again. CSMA is just like a traffic protocol at a four-way stop. In Kansas, the protocol is no cop, no stop. Just kidding. At a four-way stop or all-way stop, every driver must come to full stop and then check the state of junction before she or he can proceed. Every driver has equal right to use the junction but they must follow first come, first serve the rules. Now let me talk about a CD. CD stands for collision detection, which means a node can hear collision if that happens. For example, both A and C want to transmit their data, and they check the media and find it is not busy. Therefore, they send the message at the same time. Well, collision occurs. When these two nodes hear the collision, they will back off and use some kind of a randomization to decide which would go first in order to avoid uh, collision again. CSMACD is an old technology and used uh, in early Ethernet devices such as Hub. We talk about it because CompTIA certification tests still cover it, and understanding it would be also helpful to understand Wi-Fi access method CSMA. Back today, my topic is CSMACA. CSMACA stands for Carrier Sense multiple access with collision avoidance. CSMACA is a media access control method or IEEE A02.11 wireless. I will break it apart and explain each component and then demonstrate how it works. Carrier sense means a node in a network. Carrier means shared media. Sense means multiple access right to access terms. Multiple access means or node sense is signals or data avoidance CA. Unlike CSMACD, which deals with transmissions of a collision has occurred, the nature of wireless media makes it harder for a node to detect a collision. Thus, CSMACA tries to prevent collisions before they happen. To put it simply, the protocol is trying to avoid collision in the first place. Compared to the wired local area network, the process of communications on wireless network would take more steps. The process is called IEEE A02.11 RTS slash CTS exchange. Here is how it works between a node and a wireless access point, or WAT. Suppose my laptop wants to send some data. The first thing is to check whether or not the channel is clear. If activities are detected, it would wait for a random amount of time and try again. Suppose for the second time, my laptop hears the channel is clear, but don't get so excited. It is not yet to transmit data. 
Instead, my laptop will only send request to send or RTS packet to WAP to ask for exclusive opportunity to transmit. If WAP is still busy at this point, it would tell my laptop, I got your request, but I am still busy right now. Please wait. CTS means clear to send. Well, my laptop has to wait because it's not yet clear to send. After a random time, my laptop tries again. The third time is the charm, I think. This time, the channel is clear. After sending RTS packet to the WAP, my laptop gets CTS confirmation. It is simply saying, yes, go ahead and transmit. The WAP will suspend communication with all other nodes and waits for my laptop to complete its transmission. We can say CSMACA takes more steps than CSMACD just to make sure no collision would occur. I hope this video is helpful. I believe that these videos are helpful for you to um, understand the CSMA CD and CSMA CA. Okay, so uh, do you have any question? Otherwise, I, I want to finish this because this is straightforward. I want to show these videos and uh, this term because this CSMA CD, CSMA CA is very uh, interesting topic for me as well. Whenever I study in, during the third year, uh, whenever I was uh, like you and at that time I feel that oh this is very cool and still 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 CSMA CA because they do inside the uh, wireless communication still we have some trouble still the research is going on uh, because we have to make the uh, networking between the um, you know that IoT devices so the collision avoidance should the algorithm should be uh, very uh, smart and efficient so this is the thing uh, do you have any question the, today i have not uh, uh, like uh, given any kind of um uh, feedback because i i feel that these are the points already inside the uh each of the topic these are the topics are handled inside the data link layer okay so the physical up uh, just above the physical layer so these uh the things are there so Maybe uh, in the next week, uh, I'll discuss something about the uh, applications and other things. And hopefully, please submit the uh, homework, uh, is uh, whatever is given. So if the um, your applications and other things are accepted, if the schedules are changed, we'll follow the same schedules in the same manner that in the next week, Thursday, I'll discuss about the problem statement okay something like that do you have any question otherwise i'll i'll try to finish anything no sir it is interesting and yes. okay so the csma cd is very interesting uh, the, uh yes, sir, yeah so this is the very interesting thing I'm watching the video and actually computers talking to each other you need yes, yes. 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 Uh, you cannot imagine uh, that your mobile phone all the time talks to the router and asking that please please give whatever the uh, things are here that um, the talking and other things it it shows some 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 here is happening every time you are talking every time that in millisecond microsecond level so this is fantastic i am just telling that we are using this technology so please be aware of this so that you can even because you don't have to be expert or researcher in this field rather than just try to understand and you can teach this one to your family member yeah this thing this thing happening sometimes they can say that some some guests can come in your home there will be party and they can say that oh no your uh, uh, internet speed is very slow no you are using several devices okay so if you need something use this 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 so you, you can easily say that my rts cts is working <laughs> Okay, uh, best of luck, uh, all of you. And I, I believe that uh, all of your uh, applications will be accepted. And I believe uh, Allah will be with you. And those who are affected by uh, COVID and your mem uh, family members are affected by COVID, my full sincere dua with you. Uh, may Allah uh, support us to recover um very quickly and may allah protects us okay so this is the case please pray uh, dua for me as well okay my family so thank you very much thank you sir. Uh, uh, like stopping okay thank you